Today's presentation is called When Small is Best and it's all about the concept of something called micronized mineral suspensions. Sometimes problems can be the mother of solutions and that was the case with our agronomy team when we're looking at leaf tests and we're chasing um, this concept that we call the Big Four. Now the Big Four involves trying to achieve luxury levels of four specific minerals according to leaf tests and we find if we can boost these four particular minerals then we have um, maximum yield, maximum quality and minimum pressure from both pest and disease. So it's something that's really worth um, seeking. Now the big four uh, include calcium, magnesium, phosphorus and boron. And interestingly some 30% of all the leaf tests we look at in the 40 countries we work in uh, are actually deficient, seriously deficient in all four of the big four which really puts you on the back foot. Not only do we want them in the zone, but we want them at luxury levels. And the problem becomes how to achieve this. Now, if we're looking at calcium, which is probably the most dominant of the deficiencies, um, in almost every sort of leaf test you look at, there's problems with delivering enough calcium. Uh, we find that the principal mineral used, uh, or fertilizer used to deliver calcium, is calcium nitrate. Now, the problem with calcium nitrate is that very often there is too much nitrate, according to the leaf test. Uh, particularly, particularly in intensive horticulture. So uh, it's not we don't want to add more nitrates and so how do we build luxury calcium? Similarly with magnesium, um, you've got magnesium nitrate, magnesium sulfate, very often there's too much sulfur and too much nitrates again and so that's not an option, it's not a good option. And so we were looking at um, alternative ways to deliver luxury levels of magnesium and calcium. We were also looking at how we could deliver silica in a more user-friendly form. Silica we now know is one of the key minerals, one of the key forgotten minerals in relation to building crop resilience. Cell strength is about silica and calcium and silica when we test soils, uh, usually 20-30 parts per million of, of silicic acid which is the soluble form of silica in, our, in most soil tests we look at and we need 100 parts per million. So most crops uh, for whatever reason are now quite deficient in this very important mineral. And then how do you deliver it? Well, potassium silicate is the soluble form of silica, but you can't put it with anything. It's incompatible with almost everything. And so it means extra work and an extra pass or an extra fertigation to deliver that silica. So we were looking at something a bit more user-friendly and something with more compatibility in terms of a silica-based fertilizer. We were also looking at uh, how to de deliver enough of these minerals, you know, 10% magnesium and mag sulfate, 18% calcium and calcium nitrate, we want more than that, we want more concentration. So we were looking to find or to solve that particular problem. We wanted to see how we could get, uh, you know, simplify the process of nutrient delivery for the farmer so that you could mix more things together um, and have maximum inputs in a single fertigation or a single foliar spray. And we were particularly looking at how we could um, address magnesium deficiencies without magnesium sulfate, understanding that that's the most leachable form of magnesium. And it doesn't make a lot of sense putting in the most leachable form of magnesium into light soils and having to do that throughout the season. We wanted something that would hold in the soils and deliver over time. And so that led us to the development of something called micronized mineral suspensions. And we're talking about taking concentrated minerals like limestone and dolomite and magnesite and diatomaceous earth uh, and grinding them down to this tiny particle size of just five microns, holding it in suspension then with gums and so forth and using that liquid suspension via fertigation or foliar spray to deliver very high concentrations of just the mineral we want without the tag-ons. So, for example, Lime Life, which is the calcium source, are 40% calcium in one solution as opposed to 18% in calcium nitrate. Um, Mag Life, uh, in the carbonate form, um, stays in the soil, builds up in the soil, much more magnesium than what you can find in magnesium sulfate. Um, diatomaceous Earth, and a product we call Dye Life, um, we can grind down that, magnet, that, that silica rich material and create this concentrate that goes with virtually everything. Uh, we've now got this ultimate versatility, there's very, very few things that you can't mix with micronized mineral suspension, so you can have a whole bunch in one hit, and of course that brings a smile to many farmers' faces. And basically to summarize, the whole, and calcium and phosphate, that was the other thing I was going to mention. Um, calcium and phosphate you can't put together normally, they fall out and they form calcium phosphate, insoluble calcium phosphate, but if you can put them together, and some people actually run two tanks together because they see the big bang they get when they put calcium and phosphate, this energy push that you achieve, 
Uh, and so they'll put out two separate tanks to get that kick of the two applied almost in conjunction. Now, that was one of the other things we were seeking, and we found if we took, if we took um, micronized guano in liquid form, we got calcium phosphate that was delivered and dissolved and was ready for, uh, for plant uptake in a very short time, you actually got that kick of calcium, and it became our most popular product, a product called FosLife. So, in summary, um, basically, micronized mineral suspensions deliver concentrated precision nutrition with maximum compatibility. Try them if you haven't tried them before and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Thank you.